Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Eric's Corner with a word of the not so wise. Uh, just going to do a real quick video here. Uh, I talked about this company before. Uh, some uh, there's a, Edison Motors. They are building these diesel electric uh, semi platforms. If you follow my show at all, you've uh, heard me talk about going with a gas or diesel electric car. So these guys building these diesel electric uh, semi trucks was a very attractive uh, thing to me. Um, they uh, doing a really good job of, of a lot of things, uh, coming up with a lot of really good ideas and just a really good job of marketing. Um, Chase is the, I, I guess the, the main spokesman or whatever you want to call him. He's uh, doing a really good job of keeping, I'm, I'm following the videos, the, the short videos that uh, he's posting do a really good job of just uh, keeping everybody up to date on what they got going on and uh, you know, throwing out some problems they're having, how they're fixing them, so on and so forth. They've uh, went to factories in China to check out their assembly uh, process. They're going to international truck shows, just all kinds of stuff. And they're what, what really piques my interest about them is fundamentally they are just, just completely have just completely knocked it out of the park. Uh, two things, no planned obsolescence and can we get parts? Uh, they're, uh, the trucks they're building now, as far as I know, are they're using uh, Caterpillar engines, uh, 30, uh, 30, 3306s, I think. Don't quote me on that. So uh, inline six uh, Caterpillar engine, they're like a 300-ish, 325-ish KW, uh, generator, but they're talking about going with a company called Scania, which I'd, I'd hate to see them go away from Caterpillar. But I mean, if if they say that they can source parts better and they've got a product that works better, then let's absolutely go that direction. One thing you talked about is they don't have a DPF on them, the diesel particulate filter. That that's that thing I was complaining about that that uh, destroys the engine in the. Uh, the uh, the pickup trucks, the Cummins, and the Power Stroke, and the the Duramax, they gotta run that regen and so forth. So this meets stage four um, American emission standards. So you don't some somehow I don't know how they did it magic probably. So they don't need to have a, a DPF on it, which is fantastic. So no regen mode. So you know idling. Uh, clogs these filters re bad, real bad and then they have to regen where we're dumping fuel into the exhaust. I assume the semi works the same. I haven't really looked into it. Um, but uh, there's just a lot of things like when you're running a plow where you got a grader blade and a wing blade and they've got these new controls and it's like, well, if I have to lift them all up at once, I can't do that. I need these older style controls where I can lift everything up at once because you know, the couple seconds it takes you to change between controls, you're doing 60 miles an hour. Well, you know, you might have a problem or you might just take out a mailbox or wing blade or, or whatever the case may be. So really impressed with what they got going on. Um, I would highly recommend buying stock in a company like this. Like I said, I've been following them pretty close with uh, pretty, pretty great interest because I mean, again, if you watch my video of like, hey, why don't we build generators in two trucks? Um, and just their philosophy is just correct. No planned obsolescence. If it's got an onboard computer and it throws an engine code, just give me the code. I shouldn't have to plug a computer in when I've got this tablet on my dashboard that can just tell me what the problem is or think the problem is. So they're uh, uh, getting around a lot of future problems. I mean, again, no, you know, don't build something to to only last 30 years, build it to last 100, because I mean, semis are expensive. They need to have a 50 year working life. I discussed before a vehicle, okay, not anywhere near as expensive. Okay, 30 years, 300,000 miles, okay, throw it away. It's it's destroyed by then, especially in a harsh climate like this. Now, this is a Canadian based company. So again, they're in harsh climates as well, really, really cold in the winter and so forth. So, yeah, so that's uh, my quick update on uh, what SN Motors has got going on. Uh, guys are totally kicking ass. Keep it up. I really look forward to seeing your trucks take over the industry someday. I, I think it's very possible. I mean, the, this, the power output those electric motors were getting, I was guessing, um, uh, let's see, what, what's the one of the drive acts, like 350 horse. And I was like, I think I was talking to someone I'm like, yeah, but it probably has 3,000 pounds of torque. Wow, whoa, boy, was I way off. It's like 30,000 foot power, uh, 
yeah, it was a 30,000 foot pounds or just something absolutely insane. So <clears throat> lots more power, <clears throat> more efficiency. And they actually kept the trucks about the same weight as another semi. So that's, that's really good. The problem with all this battery operated stuff, well, you just added 30,000 pounds to the semi. Wow, good job. So just, <laughs> Jesus. And the, the argument I love, well, fuel adds weight too. Yes, but you lose weight as you run out of fuel or fuel gets lower. Batteries, they stay the same weight. <clears throat> so anyway, that's what I got on Edison Motors. Uh, I'll probably do an updated video because I'm, I'm constantly having these videos uh, hit my news feed and uh, it's constantly impressing me. And I really, I really got a lot of uh, hope for this company. Um, so yeah, uh, buy stock in Edison Motors. I think it's I think it's going to go. Might might take a little while, but uh, and like I said, they uh, they've been looking into uh, how factories around the world do uh, put things together. So they should come up, hopefully come up with something very efficient, uh, very quickly, so they can get their product to market and start saving us a lot of money on fuel, a lot of money on your your groceries, etc. I mean, it all starts with trucking. You got to get your your building materials, your food, your fuel. You got to get it to market, and that's coming through semis and of course some. Uh, trains, but they're already diesel electric. So anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let me know what you think. Have a good night.